Hi guys, how are you going? Ever heard of Oloi? Or Yolo backwards? Not many have. I have gotten hold of two of these, which is the non RGB kitted 3200, 16, 18, 18. Uh, what is that, 36? And as you probably know, that is the most common speed bin uh, for DDR4, so they can be anything. You never know. And also there's some Oloi Warhawks. These are pretty cheap, these kits. These aren't actually horrible. I know they're a bit leery, but if you want leery, and let's face it, everyone seems to do these days, the RGB isn't terrible for RGB. And they're the same timings. They're not far from being run off the same batch. And I thought, okay, well, they're probably the same Micron uh, ICs. They've got, oh, what, I've got the name written down, because even I haven't come across them. They are running ICs that are basically Micron. They are from Spectec, that's right. Uh, they are Micron's little cousin or something, apparently. Um, I believe Oloi themselves have only been running for, what, two years or so? Uh, Tom's Hardware did a, a, a review on one of their kits, took the heat spreaders off and showed these... Um, ICs, the next kit they got sent had the ICs scrubbed clean. Why would you? Tom's hardware, as if they're not going to actually say it in the review that they did that. So, um, now I've had these, by the way, these are not kitted. These are individual kits. Eight gigabyte stick, eight gigabyte stick. Same with the RGB ones, they're not a kit. Um, they, the RGB and the non RGB are each identical though and run off the same batch too um, I had them running as a quad channel kit in X2, X299 at the XMP profile which for some cheap RAM isn't bad quad channel can be finicky uh, I did do a, a Typhoon burner while it was in there it wouldn't read the, the revision of the Micron um, yeah, I don't know if I can read G skill sticks and codes and all that sort of stuff and of course yeah but I was wondering if M, uh, MD might mean it's D-Die. Uh, anyway, I thought we'd overclock them a little bit and have a bit of a play and see where we go. What I did note of interest is you'll see that the sticks are rocking individual, or different PCBs. If you look under there, you'll see the component layout is, is different. Both A2. PCB layouts, but different implementation. So, maybe I'll whack them in the Apex 12 with the 10900K. Maybe I'll whack them in X299. Maybe I'll whack them, in, whack them in X99. The only shame I've got is with quad channel is that I've got someone else's system here. It's next 299 Gaming Ultra, 7920X in it, but it's just overheating almost straight away. I'm not gonna have much of a chance to, sm to smash them. Um, my bits of everything at the moment, computer, because I just muck around with it a bit too much. I got an iGame Vulcan graphics card, by the way, which has uh, put out some good scores on hardware bot. Anyway, how about I get the uh, sticks underway, we'll have a bit more of a look at them, and you never know, by the end I might have even taken some heat spreaders off, baby. I'm Dinky Fjordine, let's keep going. Okay, so we've got them in the system there. Apex uh, 12, 10, 900K. Uh, if it matters, a 3070 iGame colourful Vulcan. It's a little LCD wink panel on it. Uh, 1200 die, uh, AX1200, sorry. Uh, Bloody brain's not working at all. Corsair. Corsair uh, AX 1200 power supply. Should be more than capable. So, 
We tried Typhoon Burner at first, and yeah, not getting any results about its uh, ICs. Die density and count section doesn't have anything in there, uh, and the question marks you're seeing under part number, well, pretty sure I'm after the one after the eight or the one after that, anyway. It's of a speed grade of 2133p. So, you know, a lot of the Micron stuff out there, uh, I think, yeah, most of the EDI would be 2666 if, what year, uh, sorry, um, depending on when it was released. Uh, this is um, November 11th to the 15th week, 46, uh, 2019. So it's not what you'd call a, a young or, you know, a recent kit. Chunwell Technology. Let's see who made it. Oh, good. Part number was inventive. Anyway, here's your timings. It can't be a die either, I wouldn't think. 584 TRFC. Mind you, on the Apex, you've got mode 1 and mode 2. That's a difference in latencies. It'll affect uh, TRFC a great deal, so kind of hard to know which way I'd head there, but um, let me just so you can see the CPUs in there. So I've booted it up at 33.33. I'll do some testing and see if it will stay stable at that with its XMP profiles. I haven't changed voltages except, uh, uh, you know, the XMP voltage is 1.35 volts. So, hmm. Okay, so I've been mucking around a little bit. I thought I'd just check back in with the sit rep. And at the moment we're sitting on 3,500 megahertz at the XMP profile. Um, 1.4 volts, but I don't think that was necessary. I adjusted that and then I adjusted something else, but um, it, do, it doesn't like 3600 a lot. <laughs> uh, I haven't pushed too far with volts or timings being loosened yet or anything, but I was sort of hoping I wouldn't have to loosen timings at 16, 18, 18, but uh, maybe some volts. Runs a if I put it on auto for IO and SA, it runs a very low SA. Um, hasn't gone above 1.15 on that yet. Was it the B, the B die? Yeah, not for strain on the memory controller, obviously. So the XMP profile got up to 3466, and I tried quite a few things, but it just wouldn't get to 3600 at, at that. Now what I could have done was gone 17, 19, 19 or something, but instead I've just raised it to 19, 21, 21, 42, 2T command rate, and i um, just gonna see where it goes to within the boundaries of 1.5 volts feed him. Um, we're at 1.35 still at the moment, and 37, 33 at 19, 21, 21, so, uh, yeah, I'll be back. Well, there we go. That's uh, that's interesting. Forget about the clock speeds on the CPU and all that sort of stuff. I've been mucking around with something there, and I've got it running on that AI optimized mode. I'm just having a bit of fun with that too. It's all about understand tau and all that. So, well, what I'm testing is the clocks and the frequencies it'll do. And I've just been playing Red Dead for about two hours. Uh, see if it'll stay right in there. Cause I had a few issues with that that crashing out. Make sure other issues weren't issues anymore. Anyway, so this is that uh, that setting of four thousand at nineteen twenty one twenty one forty two, which is which is an XMP bin you can buy off BDI with. Oh, looking at the subs, I'm not I'm not all, sh all that sure that the subs are even that much tighter on the BDI. But uh, yeah, don't worry, I'm not comparing times that uh, Geekbench has done or. Uh, 32 amp super pi, it's just that the completion of them thereof will it make it through, etc. Cringe at the point that it passes Dykstra on <laughs> Geekbench until it gets through. But uh, so far, shaping up to be an alright value kit of RAM to have a bit of a play with and, and, and go on with. Uh, it's wanted to set under auto to 1.35, 1.3. Uh, I.O. voltage and it wanted to set uh, a 1.35 it was no 1.4 and 1.5 for SA 
No, I pulled that back to 1.35 IO, 1.35, SA. It needs particularly low SA, this kit, in order to, to get through. Actually, when I had the SA, SA up on auto setting on a lower frequency at 1.6, it didn't like it. One, one, 1.15, but 1.2 was good. So uh, I don't think uh, that, that needs to be pushed hard and will cause, cause instability going any higher. So I'll keep going with it and, and see, see if I've got anything else to tell you. Otherwise, I'll... Uh, I'll call it a day, but I uh, sort of want to squeeze a little bit more. I mean, obviously, I'm going to squeeze. You can tweak forever, but uh, yeah, a little bit more into this one might be a bit of fun. We'll see. Well, as it turns out, that will be the end of it. I've, uh, it doesn't seem to help to give it much voltages, many of the different voltages. Um, at what I've got it at at the moment, it wouldn't bump down to Commander 8.1, it wouldn't even cop a TRFC of 550, so um, I think that's as far as I want to push, spend time on pushing this. But uh, it did alright for a, a 3200C16, who knows what it is, kit, to get to uh, an XMP profile of, you know, well, the, the, the AAO PCB type stuff that, at the top end. So, yeah, I might just leave it at that. Hope you enjoyed it. Do that subscribe thing. Don't click the bell if you don't want annoying thingies coming at you. Uh, notifications, but uh, uh, a subscribe would do me a little bit of help to get out to a wider reach anyway. So, that's Extreme Overclocking Gobo signing out. Remember, I'm Dink if you're Dink.